Let's find the oxidation number of gold in this molecule. So thinking about the oxidation number rules, the first thing to notice is that here is an alkali metal. Alkali metals will always have an oxidation number of plus one. Next, let's take a look at the chlorine. This is a halogen. Looking at the oxidation number chart at chlorine, there's an array of different potential oxidation numbers. But the oxidation number rules talk about how halogens, if they occur as ides, they'll always have a negative oxidation number. The only time they don't occur as halides is if they're bonding with a non-metal like oxygen, for example. Here, the chlorine is bonding with potassium and gold, two metals. So this is going to act as a chloride. The only negative oxidation number a halide can have is minus one. So the oxidation number of the chlorine is going to be minus one. The oxidation number of the gold is unknown. The net charge on this molecule is zero. The total charge must add up to zero. There's four negative one charges. Checking the oxidation number chart, plus three is an oxidation number of gold. So the oxidation number is plus three.